Would you like to see increases from split testing, things like 52%, 100%, 259%? Of course, we all would, right? And I'm not just talking about email today. So usually that's what I'm talking about. And believe me, split testing emails is great if you're using a tool like Klaviyo. It's super easy to do now, whether you're talking about campaign sending, flows, but sometimes it's important to do this on your landing pages, on your product pages, trying out different things and seeing what works. Now, I've clearly got something I'm going to talk about. You can see it on the page, but I am going to say use the tool that works for you. It's more important that you're testing than you're using the right tool. Of course, if you're using the right tool for you, it's going to make things easier. Um, but I am tool agnostic. I just use what works well for me. So if you want to give this a shot, like I said, there's certain things you can do. And if you're not familiar with split testing, start simple. Don't go out and say, I'm going to split test every single page. We're going to do all of this. Start simple with some goals and lay out what your expectations are. Now, what I might do if I was looking at a site, I would probably look at their traffic first. Where's the site traffic going? Is it going mostly to the homepage? Is there a category page? Is there a blog post that's performing well and driving a ton of SEO traffic? Are you running ads to a landing page? Things like that. Uh, maybe it's a couple of product pages. Maybe you have a catalog of 10 to 15 products and you have two that are driving 80% of your sales. Well, that kind of tells you where to start. And then from there, start with the big movers. A lot of times that is either kind of the hero content, depending on how your page is laid out, the title, subtitles, calls to action, reviews, not reviews, whatever it is you have on the page, but work your way down, generally above the fold. Um, I don't think I've actually ever heard of something below the fold, moving the needle more than something above the fold, but who knows, it's probably happened out there. And that's why we test. Uh, but a tool like this with auto optimize, you can quickly set up. Um, and one of the reasons I really like this is you're not making changes on the page itself. You're, in, you're using their software and it's overlaying basically and changing things on the page for you. And you can very easily make, uh, you know, test a bunch of changes. So like this over here, um, I have something shown over there, you know, running some tests and just saying, boom, automatically it's running through and then choosing the winner. And then you can say, oh, great. Got an email uh, from my account. This is the winner, great, I'll go in now, log in to whatever tool I'm using uh, for my store, for my website, and go in and make that the actual text on the page. Super handy. Uh, setting them up is really simple with this tool as well. Um, it varies by tools how you go about doing this. Uh, but again, you wanna go through, pick out the things that are important. Maybe you wanna test a few headlines, uh, maybe a sub headline and that call to action on that button. And this can be done in the background um, and just be working while you're sleeping again. And that's one of the powerful things about split tests is once you set them up in the running, that's great. You don't have to go in there and keep fiddling with it if you've got the right tool. Uh, so check it out. Uh, highly recommend checking out these tools or just checking out and finding the right tool for you so you can split test and make your emails more effective, right? You're sending that traffic to your site. Now improve the site and make sure that those people who click through from your emails convert. I'm Adam Moody with Oasis Optimization. If you'd like help with this or with your e-commerce email marketing, you can get in touch with me at oasisoptimization.com.